So, I want to come on here uh, and talk about where I've been at. Uh, um, I'm going to do a review of of where um, August has been, uh, you know, the month of August um, and whatnot. Uh, but I just want to come on here and talk about how I almost uh, died and how I almost got my memory stolen. Like, legit. Um, so, what was it? Yeah, I got stitches in my eyes. So, um, yeah, so, actually, as of last week, I guess, on a Wednesday or Thursday, yeah, whatever day it was, um, one of those days, it all started off, um, it all started off basically last week, Wednesday or Thursday, late at night, I was praying because I wanted to sit here and come out and tell the truth and nothing but the truth in which I'm going to do a live video after this. Um, wait till this uploads and do a video after this and then you can watch it. But then, um, or I might do that tomorrow, I don't know. Um, but long story short, um, last week was good and everything. I'm getting a new second job. Well, I'm getting a second job. And I don't know what I'm going to do from there. Um, but long story short, was praying one day, uh, was praying last week one day, and I was talking about how I want to, how God to give me a sign of basically, you know, to come out and speak the truth, nothing but the truth about the stuff that's about to happen. Um, and the stuff that I've been holding back on. And, um, and this I guess is going to get into like a lot of other stuff later. But, um, so I was praying to God about that. And lo and behold, um, and I just wanted to come out and debunk. And since I keep getting, getting affiliated with these two people, mainly one person, uh, I just wanted to come out and talk about that whole issue. Cause that stuff has actually been annoying the living daylights out of me. People keep trying to make excuses for this person. I'm just going to come out and say what this person's done, who they are and why I don't affiliate with them. Um, and all this other stuff. But, um, was prayed that last week, and then all of a sudden, the next day at 6.50 6 in the morning, because there's already a police report for this stuff, um, my brother almost tries killing my mom. Um, basically, long story short, long story short, um, I actually am going to cuss, cuss in this video, because this is word for word, uh, uh, what, uh, what happened and whatnot, woke up. Uh, brothers started calling my mom all types of words like nigga this, nigga that, bitch this, bitch that. Um, and basically, so I tackled my brother because I already knew my brother was about to hit my mom. Um, tackled my brother. Uh, got off of him, whatever the case it was. And that was pretty much it. That was pretty much it. They kept arguing. Uh, my mom hit him, obviously, because I don't know why wouldn't you be if, you you know, somebody's calling you just a, a nigga or, or a bitch or whatever the case it is. And hit him, broke that stuff up, broke that up, uh, um, broke that up. And basically my, what was it? I'm trying to think. That happened, went into my room, uh, had my mom go into her room or whatever the case it is. And then uh, my brother is just uh, storms after her. And then basically he tries to kill my mom and he basically puts her in a headlock and her her knees buckle and whatnot. And then right then and there, I almost shot my brother because, you know, he tried killing my mom. And um, I told the police and all this other stuff, uh, this stuff already. Um, so that happened. And then which case he punched me in the face. Uh, well, he punched me in the face and then he basically, um, tried killing my mom, suff uh, almost suffocated her to death. Um, so that happened. And then he did all of this in front of his, uh, in front of his kids, uh, actually his three kids, um, that happened. And then pretty much, uh, kicked him out the house, uh, kicked him out the house. And then he was banging on the door, how he was saying how basically he left his wallet in the room, all types of stuff. And, um, that happened. 
And what else was there? That happened, and the police arrived, and they arrested him. He obviously got bailed out, whatever the case it is, in which case um, his dad probably bailed him out, don't really care, don't really give a fuck about his dad. His dad can go fuck himself. Um, really is no mean to justify it. So pretty much um, if something does happen to my mom in terms of, like, my mom dying, and my mom actually is going to die pretty soon because she took the mark of the beast and whatnot, I keep having dreams about her being t either turning into a zombie or a xenomorph. Um, so there's that. And fun fact, the guy that actually came up with the term of, Zen of xenomorph, the aliens uh, from Alien, the movie, the, um, the guy's name is H.R. Geiger, I think. And he was basically involved in some, into the occult and a lot of dark stuff. So there you go. Um, those actually are real. Um, it's like George Lucas when he uh, invented Yoda. You know, um, uh, Yoda is is a demon from uh, mainly Pete Hall, who was a high level 33rd degree Freemason. And he summoned him in a ritual and the demon looked exactly like Yoda. So there you go. Yoda is a demon. The point is, I almost lost my life because my brother can't sit here, get a divorce, wants to sit here, wants to dick around. I hate being as, as blunt and douchey as I am in this video, but I douchey in this video. Uh, but I ain't got time for, it. I ain't got, I don't have time. For, I don't have time for dumb shit anymore. I don't have time to sit here, be, uh, be praying for people that don't want to be saved. I don't, cause I actually prayed for my brother and his wife and their kids to come down here. Don't know if he's going to go back to California or what could care less. Cause I mean, pretty much me and my mom disowned him after he tried killing her. And, uh, basically when I went to the hospital, everybody was thanking me. My mom's boyfriend thanked me. Um, a lot of stuff were thanking me that, you know, I did the right thing, all this other stuff. But, bro, I don't have time for it no more. And then it also got verified uh, uh, through God that basically um, God told me multiple things after this whole thing happened. That there's another version of my brother and the multiverse or whatever the case it is. So it's not really a loss. So whatever. Um, I'm like the worst version of my brother. And then on top of that... Um, had a dream where basically I'm not going to, I'm going to explain the dream like later on down the road, maybe might never, um, don't really care. Um, but had a dream where basically, um, I have a dream where basically, um, it gets into like how, when I have dreams and stuff, when you have a dream of like being in the house, um, you know, the house represents your soul, all the good memories and all that other stuff. I was in my grandma's house and basically it basically the time period that we're in and all this other stuff that God's about to reward me with. Um, basically is that I would normally always just be in my grandma's house. It would just be in my grandma's house and whatnot. But then, you know, it went from me just being to her house to basically now it's like, um, it can, the house can fly. Um, and sometimes it's like the house from up where it's just levitating in the air. And then sometimes, you know, it turns into like a bird. Yeah. Well, a giant bird really, um, sort of like, um, uh, the giant uh, bird that they build in Chicken Run. If the, yo, actually, that's actually perfect. Yeah. Um, so that and basically saw my brother in my house because, you know, your soul is made up, you know, of people you love and all this other stuff. And then I basically end up seeing um, uh, a demon attached to my brother, which is like it was like this demonic bird attached to my brother. And it had like this purple and black aura, which purple and black uh, mixed together. It's actually it, it, it's demonic. Um, in terms of like aura and energy and stuff. And I saw that attached to my brother and I, and I actually, I bailed out of my, out of my house in my dream and I jumped because, uh, it wasn't supposed to be there. And lo and behold, my brother's demon possessed, in which case I don't even care about that situation no more. Um, I disown my brother. I can care less what happens to my brother. Um, I'm not praying for my brother. I don't pray for people that don't have a soul. I don't pray for people that are headed straight to hell. I don't, at that point, all the stuff that, you know, I got memories and stuff, but mem but there's a difference between, you know, uh, facts and feelings. What I feel is one thing, but the fact is, is that that's not, don't, that is no longer my brother. That's no longer the, that's not the same brother that basically I was talking to uh, last week or two weeks ago, who's telling me that with all this money he's getting with his wife, um, you know, he was going to give it to me, all this other stuff that um, basically um, was doing a lot of stuff with, that I grew up with, not the same person, 
And pretty much, you gotta have morals. You gotta have bound. You gotta have boundaries. You gotta have morals. And my mom has a restraining order um, against my brother. But point is, it's like that's no longer the same person that I used to love, and I'm letting them go. Uh, that sounds like cold-hearted and, and a little bit douchey, but nah, you gotta have you gotta have boundaries, and you gotta respect yourself, and you can't be affiliate, affiliating with people that are not only on drugs but are demon possessed and. That's issues. He was saying that he no longer has a mother, all types of stuff. When he was in jail, I'm like, I could care less. I think my mom blocked his, his dad's number, all types of stuff, because he tried to justify it. It's like, nah, bro. Um, so that's what happened to me. I almost died. Um, and this is not clickbait. I actually have a ginormous scar on my face or whatever from my brother punched me and whatnot. But um, that... So, and even though my mom has the mark of the beast, and this sounds pretty uh, fucked up, um, messed up, or whatever the case you want to call it, it's like, these people, you know, whether you know somebody that has it, or whatever the case it is, uh, they're still your loved ones, because I stay with my mom, um, I stay with my mom and stuff, they're still your family, they're still your friends, or whatever the case it is, but they just haven't transformed into like demons and stuff, that time hasn't happened. In which case, when that does happen, you will totally know the difference. Because um, I stay in a house with a xenomorph, and that's that. You're, that bugs me. But uh, but there's that. And so, so if you've gotten far into um, uh, this video, basically, I want to sit there and talk about that and about how I almost got my, I almost got killed by my brother, and um, and also too. Uh, this has actually happened like months ago. I think either this month, last month, I don't know. Uh, could care less because um, time is going by so fast. But basically, um, that happened. And I almost got my memory stolen. And when I sit here and say I almost got my memory stolen, I literally mean I almost got my memory stolen. So basically, uh, whenever this happened, um, I went to sleep one day. And I was in another dimension. I was in another dimension and I saw God. But pretty much that's all I remember. Because basically when I got into that dimension, I talk about this stuff all the time. When I went into that dimension and I was there, my memory was gone. Poof. It was gone. Went there. I caught amnesia. And when I woke up, when I uh, was trying to sit there and remember everything, because I, because um, in my dream I was happily dumb. So like basically how uh, I guess like cartoons or TV or whatever the case it is, or if you could look like or like if you see like a dumb person in real life, I was happily dumb, smiling, cheesing, and my mind was in the, was a state of a child, and I had lost my memory, meaning that um, somebody tried to literally steal my memory. Which this is a thing. I didn't know that this was a thing. Um, and I woke up uh, from that dream and basically, thank God, God was there because he, uh, God uh, uh, knew what was happening. And he was pretty much irritated by the fact of, you know, almost got my memory stolen. But um, woke up and I had a strong sense on the left side of my brain of amnesia. And I couldn't recall what happened. All I knew is that I went to another dimension. That was it. And I pretty much, I saw God. And I think every round, everything around me is sort of like futuristic and stuff. And pretty much, uh, that was pretty much it. And woke up and it felt like I literally legit had amnesia. Went back to sleep. And then it turns out that two demons, Kali and Shiva, which I, I see those a lot, um, they tried to steal my memory. And who? And I, I've also talked about... Um, I fought them and all this other stuff, you know, put on the armor of God and what it looks like and whatnot. Um, best uh, description of basically what the armor of God looks like. If you want, type in, um, uh, uh, it's an anime. It's called Saint Seiya. It's uh, Saint, like how my username is Saint Webster and Seiya, S-E-I-Y-A. And they have like armor and stuff. They're like knights, but that's what the armor of God looks like. Um, but that happened and then pretty much battled them you know did whatever you know everything was fine but whatever happened with that guy was supposed to tell me or whatever the case it is it got stolen from me and um 
almost lost my whole entire memory. Everything that I've been posting on my channel, all this other stuff, that all the prophecies that God has given me, my name, all this other stuff, amnesia, spiritual amnesia. And I almost lost all of that. Um, so there's that. And so want to see here, come on, sit here and say that, you know, this stuff is serious. This stuff isn't a joke anymore. You know, I almost got my whole entire memory just swiped by a demon or some high level witch or whatever the case it is. And I've talked about how someone is watching me or whatever the case it is. And I'm right. So um, there you go. And then also, I think I said before, like um, when my brother almost tried killing my, me and my mom. Um, you know, randomly, I'm talking about what I'm about to sit here and release. And then, lo and behold... My, the next day, my brother tries killing me, my mom. And so it doesn't just it doesn't just happen like that. Um, so there's that. I want to come on here and say that I'm about to sit here, do a live, uh, do a live. I'm about to sit here and uh, drop a bomb, uh, not literally drop a bomb, but uh, but tell you guys something. And I can sit here and tell you all this stuff. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it and hope you enjoyed this.